So I don't know if you guys have this, but I will be at Dollar Tree and I will see an item and I will think, okay, I know exactly how that would look, but then I don't really know if it's going to turn out. So that's kind of how I felt with this wall hanging. In the end, I like it, but it was definitely a process to get there. So I found these tomato cages at Dollar Tree. So I bought maybe four or five of them and I wanted to use the hoops. Now I know that Dollar Tree sells larger hoops, but I really like that these were smaller and I knew that I could create a cluster of them and they could be really cool. First thing I did was just detach them so I was left with just the ring. Next, I grabbed some nautical rope that they sell at Dollar Tree and I just covered the tops of them with nautical rope. Then I had to move out my table to really, you know, see how this would look. And so I put them down in a formation where I felt like it would look nice up on the wall. Now to attach them all to each other, I took twine and I just wrapped the twine around maybe three or four times. Once I got all of them connected with twine, I turned it on the back and I hot glued the back together and cut off the excess twine. I think this part may have taken the longest, so that was kind of tedious. So I don't know, if you guys have a better idea of how I could have connected those, let me know down in the comments, but that was the only way I could think of where you didn't see a lot of glue. Next, I wanted something really cool and visual to put in the ring. So I found this scarf whenever I was thrifting and I actually used it on one of my thrifting projects, but I had just enough that I thought that I could fill the little ring. So what I did was I took that fabric, stretched it out and put hot glue around the back of a ring, placed it down, and then I cut it as close to the edge as I could because I didn't want any excess. That was my last step. From there, I just hung it on the wall with command strips because it really wasn't heavy at all. Next, we're gonna make a really cool rug from Dollar Tree products. So I picked up a rectangular rug at Dollar Tree. So I wanted my rug to actually be a half circle. So I found this piece of basket weave that I had in my craft room to make it be a nice curved little section and I taped it down. Next, I traced around that edge to give me that nice even curve. Then I went in and I cut off the excess. Next, I'm gonna be using a nautical rope. Now, I ended up using one and a half spools of this off of Amazon. So I started by making loops at the top of my rope, trying to make the loops as even as possible. And then I would hot glue them to the base of the rug, the black part of the rug, I would hot glue those down. And I made those loops all the way around. Now, I actually kind of figured out this pattern as I was going. Next, I added in three rows of nautical rope. From there, I went to the bottom of my little loop section and started adding in more nautical rope. Then I created another loop section by just hot gluing them together. And I didn't measure this. I tried to just make it as even as possible when I was creating my loops. And then I finished the piece off by just continuing on with the nautical rope. And here's a look at how this rug turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.